Howdy, y'all. I'm in my bed. Not really, but I'm in a hotel room that's in Dallas, Texas. But Big D, that's right. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Um, <laughs> I, um, am very tired. i slightly car sick. I'm feeling a little bit better, um, with that situation. And I thought I want to do a little vloggy vlog vlog, because why not? I'm like chillaxing. Um, my shoulder, what is this, my left shoulder, it's like, I think I was carrying around a heavy bag all day, because in my bag, I had like summer stuff in there, it's just crazy. Um, so, how you doing? You doing good? Um, oh, my mind just went blank. <laughs> um, so it is like a bajillion degrees outside. If you're from Texas, I don't know how y'all live here, seriously. Like, it's just like deadly. It's hot. Okay, it's like living in the sun. And for it being so dang gum hot, okay, it's like really, 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 really hot. I don't understand why in the lobby there's like this little like lounge and they got a gas fire place turned on it's so hot so um today is what is today today i'd like to know what today is because seriously i have no idea oh it is august 31 oh my gosh it's almost september <laughs> And it is Saturday, and according to my phone, it is 7.35. According to my watch, it's 8. So back home in Jersey, it's almost 8.55. But we're like an hour back, so it's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And one of the things we wanted to do, and that I love doing, is going to the zoo. But let me tell you something, if I haven't told you already, it's hot, okay? So, instead, we went to the aquarium, which you're going to see a video of that. Very fun. Oh, it was so fun, fascinating, and interesting, and unique about this aquarium, aside from the aromas, because it stank. Like, you know what I'm saying? P.U. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we didn't go to the bug exhibit because we saw some bug in the lobby and it was like this big. It was huge. I guess that's what they say. Everything's bigger in Texas, so we skipped out on the bug exhibit. But, um, what I did like is like this, um, what's you call it? They had uh, some reptiles, they had bats, they had, um, a... I want to call it a cheetah. It could be a leopard. I don't know. It has spots. It's like a, it's not a tiger. You'll see it and hopefully figure it out. But um, it kind of looks like the Cheeto Man, the tiger thing for the Cheeto guy. Is he a cheetah? I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so um, and then there's my all-time favorite monkey. There was monkeys, and I think there was some sloths, and there's birds, so it's kind of like a part zoo, part aquarium, um, and it was like so much fun, and then we drove around, like this is my first time in Texas ever, it's my and my parents' first time in Dallas, so we decided we want to drive around, and check out the uptown like because we're downtown we're in the city of dallas and we're downtown where are we i don't know we're at the omni hotel actually we're at the omni hotel and look i got this bracelet from autism speaks it says autism speaks time to listen and I got one of those snap bracelets, too, from Daystar. I watch Daystar. I watch the show Reflections late at night when I can't sleep. 
But when I saw the Word Network bus, mm, that's a side point, maybe. I don't know. But, um, because we're down, we, we were, well, we are down here from Mega Fest. But I'll get to Mega Fest in a second. That's what I was saying. So we're just driving around. And Lord knows where we were going. So I got car sick. So we're like going this way and that way and turning around and going the wrong way and all this cuckooness and I got car sick and I have these mystery stains on <laughs> my dress. Um, it looked like water. At first I thought like some of water got on me, but when, I don't know. It's kind of like grease. I don't know what the heck it is. It's not from my, I, I don't know where it came from. It's disturbing. Um, but, um, so then we came back to the hotel and now I'm here taking it easy um because i was like i'm car sick he's begged me to like go wolf down a chicken cheddar on a grilled chicken breast sandwich no so maybe i'll order room service maybe not i don't know i don't feel so good but hey i'm vlogging anyway so um mega fest my badge is somewhere for that I think it started, like, we got here, what, when did we come down? We come down Friday? I think it started, oh lord, when did I get here? I think, I think we came Friday, and I think Megafest started on... Thursday. So we got to like do two days of it and do like a few things. I really wanted to go to the comedy show, um, but I fell asleep and <laughs> took a huge like nap. I missed that. But um we were able to go over to the American Airline Arenas Arena uh yesterday for a little bit and see Joel Osteen and listen to some music. Um, uh, and that was fun. We met, it was funny because, like, we could have saw a lot more of him, but we're, like, reading our watches. And it's like, nope. And then when we find out the local time, we're like, dang it. So we got on the shuttle, and we went over there. And it was so freaking awesome because I watch him, like, on TV all the time. And I got all his, most of his books on audio on my iPhone, and... It's like, we walk in the building, and it's funny, because the whole, like, weekend, or the whole, before we even get here, the whole time, like, you ever get, like, a song stuck in your head, or a saying stuck in your head? Well, kind of get, like, bits of the, um, oh gosh, what is it called? It's like the Young Gospel Boy song for Italia Joy Castellano. Um, the rap and slash song in her honor and memory, um, they say in there, they're like, I believe that if God goes before us, then nobody can be against us. So that, that saying, if God is before us, then nobody can be against us, that's been like stuck in my head. And we walk in the building and I hear Joel Osteen say exactly that. I'm like, he read my mind. And it was so freaky because I'm like, there he is. But it was awesome. So we're in the arena and then um, back was like the closing ceremonies um, this morning with T.D. Jakes, Bishop T.D. Jakes and my mom. So that's how she starts her morning every morning listening to him. But they did have like overflow. So from the hotel that we're in, there was like a conference room so you could like see it. It was like being live streamed like our way. Because, I mean, we could have taken the shuttle, but by the time it let out and everybody leaving, it was like, it would have been waiting in the heat. Like, it just wouldn't have not been pleasant. So, but it was pretty cool. We got there. It was probably going on for a while. But, um, and there's, you'll, you'll see video footages of, of both of those. And they're singing and dancing and whooping it up. And... Um, speaking of which, I gotta steal stuff from my mom's phone. <laughs> um, so it was like awesome, and I want to come back next year for Mega Fest. 
It was, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I, I think if we plan ahead for next year, then we can even get, like, more out of it. But so far, awesome. Um, the last big hurrah is everyone is invited to the Potter's House on Sunday for church, and I want to go. Hopefully, I'll get up, and my mom will be like, ah! But my dad, I don't know, he's not... <laughs> too thrilled or keen on the idea, but that's okay. Um, and like Joel Osteen, everybody, everybody, everybody's going, everybody. But they hand out these little like flyer things, these like postcards. And March 6th to the 8th of 2014, Joel Osteen, he's gonna be in, not Joel. Pfft, Hello, I wish T.D. Jakes. He's gonna be in Orlando. Ooh, early registration open now. Bishop T.D. Jakes presents International Pastors Leadership Convention. Conference tracks include leadership management, administrative reports, Music and fine arts, technology, marketing, and social media, and global outreach, and more. And then my mom is going to download his app on his phone. She can be up to date with every time. We're just so excited. It's at the Orange County Convention Center. I went to a gift shop one time. Maybe that's the building. I don't know. But he's going to be there. It's gonna, I'm like, I'm going. It's going to be exciting. My mom and I were game, but my dad's a little like, I don't know. He needs to be more open-minded, I think, when it comes to this kind of stuff. But so, like, whoo, excited, so excited. Um, if you don't know about Megafest, you can Google it, go to the website, or like them, like Megafest on Facebook. Um... You can like Joel Osteen on uh, Facebook or go to his website. Um, I have him and the TD Jakes DVR on my TV. I'm sure there's like the Potter's House, like a website. When we drove in, we passed the Trinity um, Productions building and there's a church next to it. And we're like, oh, that's where everything's filmed and broadcast. Yay, woo! So, um, my dress, hard in it. Um, so, yeah, mega fast awesome but so we check out I think I think we how long is this video I can't see um we check out I think tomorrow and then we go to a different hotel which is on the outskirts of the city so it's like on a golf course so it's kind of more country the one place that I really 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 wanted to go to is all in, in Fort Worth Texas which is, I don't know, an hour or so from Dallas. So who knows if that'll happen. But I've seen so many things. Oh, I got a t-shirt. You want to see my t-shirt? I got this made today before the convention closed. Um, I don't know how well you can see. But it says, Jesus is my BFF. And then on the back, I got praying hands. Praying hands. And this is John 15, 15. I have to look that one up because there was one and, oh gosh, I forget what it said, but it had like an earth, the globe on it. And my first thought when I see that is, he's got the whole world in your hands. But then when it said, like, something, I'm like, oh, that's the one where God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Um, so I was like, oh, I know that. But Jesus is my BFF. I got to figure out what, what did I just say John 15, 15 is about? I, um, I do have a list, though, of my f favorite Bible quotes verses. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. It's so lovely, isn't it? I got some. 27.27.1. This is like my all time number one favorite. It's Philippians 
And you got Matthew 643, Philippians 4 6, Mark 923, Mark 536, Matthew 1720, Matthew 1427, John 137, Matthew 2122. And I'm sure the more I discover it, the more the longer the list will be. And um I'm going to be uploading photographs, more photographs, to my Facebook, and then I'm going, I think Paul's looking for me, <laughs> I left him a really long message on the Voxer app, um, and then I'm going to upload stuff to YouTube, some little videos, just little things from my Facebook phone that I recorded and then as far as what I recorded on this camcorder that I'm recording on right now. I'll do that later. Um because that takes more time. OMG So get ready, get ready, get ready. So far, I'm having fun in Texas. Yeah, it's really hot and that stinks. Like, that's just plain, like, no fun. But, um, aside from that, I give, I give Texas two big thumbs up. I wouldn't mind coming back and visiting. So, y'all yeah, come back and that year. Thanks for watching so much. Um, this is my weird random vlog. I really wish I could be able to do another vlog with my mom about Megafest. Because y'all got to be coming to Megafest, honey, boo-boo. Okay? Mm hmm So, I'm going to go now and do what I got to do. Okay, I'm going to do what I got to do. And then you can do what you got to do. And then... You know, you're going to keep it quirky, and we will see each other again very soon. And just a, uh, if you're still watching, I just want to put this out there. <laughs> oh, yay. So I got in some requests from y'all wanting me to hiccup and burp at the same time. And I was talking to my bro, Adam, right? And I was like, this is what people are asking. Is it even humanly possible? So, he sent me a Facebook link. No, no, I lied. He sent me a YouTube link to a girl that had that. And I watched it. And I was kind of like, ew, she's like gross. The way she's burping. It was a turn off. Not that I'm not a good burp or fart every now and again. Because it's that's just a natural occurrence, which you can do. But, she looked like really uncomfortable. So then I told my mother about it. Because y'all been like, oh, mommy's got to do it. Like, my mom was tired. And I don't ever recall this. But she told me that one time, she did have like a hiccup burp thing simultaneously happen. And she said it was extremely painful and uncomfortable. <laughs> she never wanted that to happen to her again. So, I don't know. Because I, unless... It just happens. It happens. I mean, it's not like I can burp on command. I'm not one of those people. Um, but, you know, hiccups are one of those things where, like I've mentioned, when you're laughing really hard, I get them. Um, I guess if I inhale a lot of air, I don't know, sometimes I get them. Um, um, sometimes, you know, you just feel like that weird one hiccup and then you think they're coming, but they don't. Um, so... Whenever I get the hiccups or my mom or anyone gets the hiccups and I'm around and the camera is very readily available, trust me and believe me when I say that I will be filming them. But again, hiccups are kind of uncontrollable and unpredictable. It's not like you can just make them happen. Maybe there are people out there that can, but for me I can't. But I'll be sure to share them with you whenever they occur. So no worries, my fellow hiccup enthusiast. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep it quirky and enjoy your weekend.